Hello there, Sully here, the retired tag reactor. How you doing today? Welcome to Transitions. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome any new subscribers and welcome back all returning visitors. And if you are watching this video and you're not a subscriber, well, it's easy. Just hit that subscribe button. It's right over here somewhere, I think. Uh, help me feed my beta fish. I'm trying to get this channel monetized and I need uh, all the help you can, uh, that you can give me. Uh, yeah, I'm back to uh, making music videos. Uh, uh, the fingers uh, have healed up enough where I can play. There's still a little bit of pain in this third finger, but the middle finger, despite the fact that it's uh, the nail is growing back nicely, but uh, I'm not making an obscene gesture here, I promise you. You can see the nail is growing back, and the other one is the nail is just going to go black on me, but uh, I've been trying to play for some time, and I was mostly playing my electric guitar because uh, the strings are just slightly lighter gauge and it takes less pressure. That's how I was practicing while my fingers were healing. And I guess this past Sunday I took out my acoustic guitar, Woody, and I tried playing and I still had some pain. But yesterday I tried and I felt free of pain, so I feel confident about making this Throwback Thursday video. As I promised in my live streams, uh, it's a Hooters song. I guess maybe about 10 years ago, the Hooters did an album which they called The Largo Project, where they invited a lot of guest musicians to come in and perform The Largo and a few other songs. And this particular song, they actually invited uh, Levon Helm of the band to sing lead on it. And you should be able to recognize right away that the story is about King David, how he slew the giant Goliath. Uh, the song is called Give Me a Stone. And I hope you enjoy it. Coffee in the morning. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. 
Uh, I'm a little rusty after uh, about a four-week layoff, and uh, I seem to have lost my calluses a little bit, too. Uh, it'll take a while for them to get back. Uh, I guess I just got to play a little bit more off-camera. Uh, maybe I'll uh, put up another music video before the week is out. I've been thinking about recording a Robert Hunter song. Actually, it's a Grateful Dead song. Uh, I also want to mention at this time that uh, I'll be wearing this shirt on May 29th at Citizens Bank Park when Roy Halladay's number is retired. It is the 10th anniversary of his perfect game against the uh, then Florida Marlins, now Miami Marlins. And ironically, that's who the Phillies are playing that day. And I have uh, my sister got tickets and uh, they're pretty good seats. They're in the 300 level uh, between uh, home plate and first base, uh, section 322, I believe. So if you're a Phillies fan, or if you just want to honor one of the greatest pictures in the history of baseball, a fellow who was just inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. I wasn't at the induction, by the way. My, both of my sisters went, and they bought me this shirt as a souvenir. Uh, Roy Halladay, of course, was one of the uh, players inducted in the Hall of Fame last August, and now the Phillies are going to officially retire his number. I was at number of retirement ceremonies for uh, Steve Carlton and Mike Schmidt. This is the first one I've gone to in a while. And I'm quite looking forward to it. Uh, might be having a new digs pretty soon, too. Looks like I might be moving out of this place. Uh, that remains to be seen. My sister and I have to go look at a place probably on Saturday. Uh, she and I will be sharing a place. And hopefully it will be nowhere around this, this neighborhood. I mean, this neighborhood isn't bad, but I'm not crazy about this apartment, and the rent is ridiculous. So... Uh, we're, I'm going to move to the suburbs. Hopefully I'll get a break on my car insurance. <laughs> so anyway, remember, hit that subscribe button over here or over here. I, don't, I guess it's over here. I don't know where it is. Maybe over here. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, be sure to share this video. Be sure to like and comment. And come back to visit. Uh, come back to my live streams. Uh, if you hit that notification bell, you'll know when my live streams are going to happen. I still haven't figured out what's the best time to do them. Uh, it seems that the high traffic times I get buffering problems. And I really don't want to be doing live streams at 4 in the morning or 2 in the morning or at midnight or whatever. Uh, mainly because I like to be sleeping at that time. <laughs> I'm an old man and I need my sleep. So anyway, thanks for visiting. Uh, be sure to come back soon. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment and hit the notification bell. For transitions, I'm Sully, the retired tanky anchor, saying safe and happy travels.